today we're going to learn how to put these Kiss Everlasting, um, they're like fake nails, but um, the one thing I like about these is that they're petite for my fingers. If you have tiny fingers, this is the best way to go, and they look natural and everybody thinks I got my nails done when I wear these, and I'll show you how to achieve that look. So here we go. So these petites, I actually got them at um, Target, and I honestly think they're the best out of all the fake nails that I've tried on, besides getting my nails done at the salon. If I need a quickie, um, this is what I use because it does last a long time, and I didn't have a problem with my nails falling off or looking fake or creating any bubbles. So the first thing you want to do is basically take off all your nail polish. So I removed all the nail polish I had on from before. And what you're going to do is just clip your nails kind of short. So I'm about to do that and I'll let you get to it as well. Alright, after you've clipped your nails, you want to file them to make sure they're nice and smooth. And um, this one I got at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's... Um, a coarse medium 100 to 180 grit I like this one it works pretty fast and it gets all those little edges so I'm just gonna wanna make sure that I do this to all my nails so they're nice and round nice and smooth like that and you also want to just buff just a little bit on the tops of your nails just like that just a little bit just barely so that it can grip on better when you put the glue on there okay so after you filed them they should look somewhat like this as you can see and then we're gonna want to open the box and kind of see which nails actually fit your nails so your box should look something like this and there are extra nails back here just in case the best thing part uh, about this is the nail um, glue I love this nail glue because it's a pink gel so it kind of looks like your skin tone here versus the clear one that you normally get and I think that's why it also creates that weird color underneath so it doesn't really match but this is a really good color to use as far as a nail glue. So I'm just going to match them to my nails. They each have a number, so um, there should be two of each of these numbers and just kind of fan them out in the order that you're going to put them in and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So as you can see, it should look something like this. So this would actually fit this hand right here so it would go thumb and the pointer in the middle the index and the pinky and then the same thing with this hand I would do the same so that you know which order it goes now um, if you need to file some of the sides you can or if they fit perfectly you could just leave them like that so in my case my order is a number one and number five number four six and then eleven so depending on how big or small your hand size, um, you would just measure that way. Now you're going to want to open um, your glue and it's a twist off so you just twist it off just like that. And pull. And then this should be closed so you're just going to want to get your um, nail cutter and I like to kind of try to cut it at an angle a little bit. And as soon as it cracks open, you'll be able to smell the actual nail glue. Now, the trick to this is to put it on the nail and on the fake nail itself. So what I do is I squeeze a little bit and kind of fill in my nail. Just like that. 
If you have really big nail beds, you can also push the cuticles back. Once you get all the nail glue on that, you're going to take the nail itself and put a whole bunch of nail glue on it from the tip to the bottom, just like that. And then you're just going to take it by the little tab part and you're going to want to place it first by the nail beds. And then you're just going to want to push down until you see no air bubbles. Now if you see excess of um, nail glue like in the corner there like I have it, what I do is I try to make sure I push it all the way down, try to hold it with the other finger like this, and just get a little Q-tip and kind of soak it up all around the nail bed. You don't want to touch the nail itself, just where the skin is. And you're just going to want to hold that down. Like that. See? And there's your first nail. And then I just wait until the end to take off these little tabs. So again, you're just going to repeat the process all over again. So again, I put the glue all over my nail already and then put it on this nail. And then you're just going to want to place this at the end of the nail bed. And then push a little bit up and then down. So it goes right into the nail bed and then you're just going to want to go from the nail bed down and make sure there's no air bubbles, so just hold it down as tight as you can. And make sure you don't have any glue on your fingers because then it'll get stuck on the, um, the residue will get stuck on the nail itself and then you'll be able to tell that you're kind of fidgeting with the glue. Oh, look, see? <laughs> just grab a little bit of the excess glue like this. like that and there you go now I'm gonna put all my nails on and then show you what they look like okay now your nails should somewhat look like this now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wiggle these just back and forth and twist it and then pull off wiggle it and take it off again you're gonna wiggle it twist off. Wiggle. Some of them just come off with a wiggle, but wiggle. And you can twist it off. Wiggle. Twist it off. Wiggle. Twist it off. Once you've gotten that far, oh, don't forget to put your cap on your glue so you can reuse it later. I like to keep it standing up so it doesn't clog the top, but you're just going to take it and gently file. Just gently file it so there's no little white piece because like this one you can see I have a little white piece left. At the end, you just want to gently take it off. Then voila! Your nails should look somewhat like this. Now my petites are, um, their length is actually called petite, and they're like really small, um, on the side it says EFP01, and then 5244, and that's like the style, and they're basically square rounded, but as you can see, they're not that long, so if I'm doing anything, um, it won't interfere, whether if it's washing dishes, or washing a client's hair out or anything like that, um, it should be good. So yeah, that's the end of my tutorial. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask. You can also paint over these if you want. Um, you can also put designs on them, and they'll s certainly stay. Um, 
if you want to practice a design, I suggest using acrylic paint because it just wipes right off with water or alcohol and you don't have to use acetone. So yeah, have a good day and happy holidays everybody. Bye!